Website is an on-demand archiving service, designed to digitally preserve scientific and educationally important material on the web by making snapshots of Internet contents as they existed at the time when a blogger, or a scholar or a Wikipedia editor cited or quoted from it. The preservation service enables verifiability of claims supported by the cited sources even when the original web pages are being revised, removed, or disappear for other reasons, an effect known as link rot. Comparison to other services The service differs from the short-time Google Cache copies by having indefinite archiving and by offering on-the-fly archiving. The Internet Archive, since 2013, also offers immediate archiving, however website has some advantages. Pages cached by website also capture several layers of underlying links while Internet Archive only captures the top page chosen for archiving. The accuracy with which formatting and functionality is preserved also varies greatly between Internet Archive and Website Website checks robots.txt only at the time of archiving, Internet Archive checks robots.txt occasionally, so changes in robots.txt which can be caused by a change in the ownership of the domain name can result in removing the cached pages from the Internet Archive website as a non-profit consortium supported by publishers and editors, and it can be used by individuals without charge. Rather than relying on a web crawler which archives pages in a random Fashion, authors who want to cite web pages in a scholarly article can initiate the archiving process. They then cite, instead of or in addition to the original URL, the snapshot address archived by website, with an identifier that specifies the cited source. However, note that the Internet Archive does both a crawler based archiving and on demand archiving. Website can be used to preserve cited Internet content, such as the archived web pages, in addition to citing the original URL of the Internet content. All types of web content, including HTML web pages, PDF files, style sheets, JavaScript and digital images can be preserved. It also archives metadata about the collected resources such as access time, MIME type, and content length. History Conceived in 1997 by Gunther Eisenbach, website was publicly described the following year when an article on Internet Quality Control declared that such a service could also measure the citation impact of web pages. In the next year, a pilot service was set up at the address website.net. Although it seemed that the need for website decreased when Google's short-term copies of web pages began to be offered by Google Cache and the Internet Archive expanded their crawling which started in 1996, website was the only one allowing «on-demand» archiving by users. Website also offered interfaces to scholarly journals and publishers to automate the archiving of cited links. By 2008, over 200 journals had begun routinely using website. Website used to be, but is no longer, a member of the International Internet Preservation Consortium. In a 2012 message on Twitter, Eisenbach commented that, Website has no funding, and IIPC charges €4,000 per year in annual membership fees. Website feeds its content to other digital preservation projects, including the Internet Archive. Lawrence Lessig, an American academic who writes extensively on copyright and technology, used website in his amicus brief in the Supreme Court of the United States case of MGM Studios, Inc. v. Grokster, Ltd. Fundraising <inaudible> 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 Website ran a fundraising campaign using Fundraiser from January 2013 with a target of $22,500, a sum which its operators stated was needed to maintain and modernize the service beyond the end of 2013. This includes relocating the service to Amazon EC2 cloud hosting and legal support. As of 2013 it remained undecided whether website would continue as a non-profit or as a for-profit entity. Topic usage website allows on-demand perspective archiving. It is not crawler-based, pages are only archived if the citing author or publisher requests it. No cached copy will appear in a website search unless the author or another person has specifically cached it beforehand. 
To initiate the caching and archiving of a page, an author may use websites archive menu option or use a website bookmarklet that will allow web surfers to cache pages just by clicking a button in their bookmarks folder. One can retrieve or cite archived pages through a transparent format such as http websitationorg query question mark URL equals URL and date equals date where URL is the URL that was archived, and date indicates the caching date. For example, http colon slash slash websitation dot org slash query question mark URL equals http percent three a percent two f percent two fen dot wikipedia dot org percent two fweeki percent two fmain underscore page and date equals two oh oh eight dash oh three dash oh four or the alternate short form http colon slash slash websitation dot org slash five w fifty six xt five h retrieves an archived copy of the URL http colon Slash slash en .wikipedia .org slash wiki slash main underscore page that is closest to the date of March 4, 2008. The ID 5W56XTY5H is the Unix time in Base 62. It is important to note that website does not work for pages which contain a no cache tag. Website respects the author's request to not have their web page cached. One can archive a page by simply navigating in their browser to a link formatted like this, http colon slash slash websitation dot org slash archive question mark URL equals URL to archive and email equals your email compared to Wayback Machine https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash save slash URL to archive replacing URL to archive with the full URL of the page to be archived, and your email with their email address. This is how the website bookmarklet works. Once archived on website, users can try to create an independent second level backup copy of the starting URL, saving a second time the new website's domain URL on web.archive.org, and on archive.is. Users can more conveniently do this using a browser add on for archiving. <laughs> <laughs> Business model The term, ''website'' is a registered trademark. Website does not charge individual users, journal editors and publishers any fee to use their service. Website earns revenue from publishers who want to ''have their publications analyzed and cited webreferences archived'' and accepts donations. Early support was from the University of Toronto. Copyright <inaudible> <inaudible> issues. <inaudible> Website maintains the legal position that its archiving activities are allowed by the copyright doctrines of fair use and implied license. To support the fair use argument, website notes that its archived copies are transformative, socially valuable for academic research, and not harmful to the market value of any copyrighted work. Website argues that caching and archiving web pages is not considered a copyright infringement when the archiver offers the copyright owner an opportunity to opt out of the archive system, thus creating an implied license. To that end, website will not archive in violation of website, do not cache, and no archive, metadata, as well as robot exclusion standards, the absence of which creates an implied license for web archive services to preserve the content in a similar case involving Google's web caching activities on January 19, 2006, the United States District Court for the District of Nevada agreed with that argument in the case of Field v. Google CVS 040413RCJ LRL holding that fair use in an implied license meant that Google's caching of web pages did not constitute copyright violation. The implied license Referred to general Internet standards. DMCA requests According to their policy, after receiving legitimate DMCA requests from the copyright holders, website removes saved pages from public access, as the archived pages are still under the safe harbor of being citations. The pages are removed to a dark archive. And in cases of legal controversies or evidence requests, there is pay-per-view access of $200 up to five snapshots plus $100 for each further ten snapshots to the copyrighted content. Topic. See also. 
Wayback Machine Archive.is Perma. CC